Hydraulic cylinders using a square wire to hold the gland in place require some know-how to take apart and reassemble. This video will give you step-by-step -step procedures. After it has been removed from its machine, the cylinder should be cleaned, retracted, and drained of oil. Make sure you have a clean open work area so you can lay out the parts during disassembly. Secure the cylinder in a vise or other restraining device that will not crush the tube, ensuring that the slot in the barrel is positioned for easy access. Remove or cut through any tape that might be covering the slot. Create a little working space between the gland and the end fitting. Using a pin spanner wrench, rotate the gland counterclockwise. The square wire should back out of the slot. If it does not, rotate the gland until the end of the wire can be seen and insert a sharp pointed tool under the exposed end of the square wire. Then rotate the gland counterclockwise and remove the square wire. Locate the installation ring in the packing kit and make a cut through it so that one end of the ring can slide into the window slot on the barrel. When installing the ring into the slot, make sure the surface with two chamfers is positioned to the inside and the flat surface of the installation ring is to the outside or in contact with the inside of the cylinder tube. The installation ring should slide around the circumference of the square wire retainer groove. Pull on the rod to remove the gland and piston from the cylinder tube. Restrain the rod from being able to turn, then remove the piston seal and backup washer before removing the lock nut and the piston. Check all parts for nicks, scratches, cuts, and abnormal wear. Before reassembly, check that the new seals have been installed in accordance with the cylinder assembly drawing. That information can be found at princehide.com, Products tab, Welded Cylinders Option, Sword Line, and then click on Parts Book. Now make sure all internal parts are free of visible contamination. Remove the installation ring from the square wire groove prior to reassembly. Be sure to lubricate the new seals on the piston and gland and the cylinder tube interior with a mineral-based hydraulic fluid prior to reassembly. Assemble the gland on the piston rod in the same manner it was removed. When reinstalling the piston and the lock nut, follow the torque value requirement as detailed on the cylinder assembly drawing. Insert the piston, gland, and rod assembly into the tube. Align the hole in the gland square wire retaining groove with the window slot in the cylinder tube. Insert the new square wire gland retainer, hook first, into the hole in the gland, and rotate the gland clockwise with a pin spanner wrench until the wire is completely in the tube. If the end of the wire sticks up a bit, tap on it to make it recessed within the installation window. Test the cylinder, first at low pressure, and if successful, at full pressure. Fully extend and retract the cylinder while inspecting it for external leakage. Congratulations! When all tests are positive, your cylinder is ready for use. Prince Manufacturing Corporation, delivering to your bottom line by providing unsurpassed support. Be sure to visit our website for parts manuals and our catalog. Please take a moment to like this video and subscribe to our channel so you will be notified of our latest videos.